Hi, how are you? My name's Beta, and welcome to the channel. This is the first video on here, which ironically is a gameplay commentary. I know, we're making the most riveting content out there on YouTube, but in all honesty, I'm having fun with it. And to some extent, this video is very meaningful to me, because with how I started with making videos on YouTube in general, being gameplay commentaries, I haven't done that style video up until now for many, many years. I think it's been at least half a decade since I've done just a gameplay commentary off the cuff, where I just show whatever I played earlier that day and talk about whatever I want to talk about. That's just how I used to do it, but I haven't done that in many, many years. But that's the point of why I'm doing this video. I'm just sort of winging it. And that relates to the point of this channel, which is what I want to talk about today. Why do I now have a streaming gaming highlight commentary channel? What is the meaning behind the name Beta? What is the plan for what I'm doing here? You know, it's kind of funny though, because this video is happening directly after my big main channel update video announcing this channel. So you're jumping from one update video technically to another. That's not a good sign, I don't think, at least from my perspective of looking at it and being self-critical about myself. But, but you know what, if you're enjoying this, who am I to say that this isn't good? So you already know the plan for the most part for this channel, it's just mainly my stream highlight gameplay videos, where whatever I do on stream that's fun, I take the highlights, compress them into a funny, entertaining video with lots of serotonin, and post it here. Which you know is well and all, but I'm gonna be throwing some other things in here, like videos like this, just straight up gameplay commentaries. The reason being, I enjoy doing them. And in the long run, I feel like this is going to help me getting better with doing off the cuff commentaries like this. You might not know this, but for most, if not all videos that I've had to plan out, I almost always have a script for them, which isn't bad. You know, a high quality project should have a plan or like at least like a laid out idea for where you want to take it. But I'm going to be honest, I've had to do that for some of the most simplistic videos ever. It's been hard for me to do commentaries where I don't have a fully fledged script where I'm reading it word for word. I feel like this issue correlates significantly with me not having done these off the cuff gameplay commentaries in several years. It's sort of like, you know, if you draw for five years and then you stop drawing and then you move to something else and you come back, try drawing again, it's not gonna be the same as where you left off. You might remember a lot. For some people, it might be like riding a bike. You never really forget. Well, for me, with these gameplay commentaries, it is like riding a bike. But instead of riding the bike again and getting used to it, I'm doing fucking mountain biking. <laughs> like, it's just full sending it into a completely next level of it, even if in reality these gameplay commentaries aren't that deep. For some people, they're not that hard to pull off. But for me, it really is that, just based on what I'm used to doing for videos, where I just read a script and do nothing but that because I can't put my words from my head out there and, and make it make sense. You know, like right now, it just feels like everything I'm saying is a jumble of words and we're digressing and this video is gonna be longer than it really needs to be. And I'm gonna have to go back and play more Sonic 06 for gameplay in the back. It's just to see the cycle that I found myself in. So that's why I'm doing these gameplay commentary videos so I can get better at it. Where I don't need a full 10 page script of what I'm gonna say for a video in front of me, not to say that that's bad, I'll still probably do that on the main channel, but to also practice just having a few key notes for whatever the video is gonna be about and being able to concisely deliver those thoughts and ideas that I have. Which to give you an idea for this video, the notes that I have are just like half a page not even. Which, in all honesty, what we've been talking about is not what I have in these notes. So, yeah, off to a great start. But yeah, this channel, it's supposed to be a smorgasbord of whatever I feel like doing and seems fun. Nothing here is going to be forced, it's just going to be complete fun and chaos, and I hope you enjoy it just as much as I'm going to. This video, I'll be honest, is really, really fun. Just talking about whatever, even though we've practically talked about nothing, is fun. It's a good start, and hey, worst case, we can use this as sort of a benchmark, where like years later, with whatever gameplay commentaries we end up doing, it's definitely going to be better than this first video. We can look back on it and be like, what the hell was I thinking back then? And if that's the first thing that comes to mind where I'm sort of internally cringing, where I'm thinking, ah, oh, I'm not at the point where I was before, that not only shows the growth of my character, but also the growth in my experience in being able to make better videos. Who's texting me? Oh.
It's my mother. Mother? Birth giver, what's up? How are you doing? How are the wife and kids? Next time she calls me, I'm gonna say, thank you for choosing taco time. What can I get started for you today? She's gonna get so thrown off. She's gonna hate it. So that's the plan for what we're doing on here. Just kind of winging it, having fun. It'll mainly be gameplay, highlight, stream videos that you all have come to know and love, I guess. I hope you do, because those are the ones I have a lot of fun with. But all in all, this is just meant to recapture my love for doing YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love making videos. I I'm practically doing and living my dream job. Ever since I was in high school, I had wanted to do YouTube full time. At the time, was it the most feasible thing in the world? Not really. But I do mean it when I say that I've woken up every single day feeling like I'm living my dream. So yeah, this channel is meant to recapture that love for what first started as a hobby and to sort of refine a different style of making videos. God, that voice crack. Oh my lord. So yeah, the plan on here is just some random shenanigans. You'll probably see some memes, some gaming commentaries like these, and just the usual streaming highlight videos. There will be a little bit of a touch of furry in here, here and there, because we all love the furry content, but the plan is just to be, as usual, furry adjacent compared to furry based. It's not going to be in your face furry, it's more going to be like, ah, so this content creator just so happens to be a furry, and they're funny. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. That's the impression that I want to give off. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Just what the plans are for this channel, and why I'm doing gameplay commentary as the first thing here, and how that's going to help me get better at just commentating in general. So yeah, we'll revisit this video in a year or so from now, and it'll be fun. But I do have a couple of other things that I want to talk about, so this, this isn't done yet. There's probably another five minutes or something to this. I don't know. So what does the name Beta mean? Well, it's just sort of a play on my name, Beta. I've always been known as Beta for many years, back in Call of Duty commentary and furry. That's just sort of the nickname that I gave myself online. And friends would take that one name and put a twist on it. Like my friend Russ always called me Boodles, and so that's the name of my furry info channel, because it's sort of an offhand nickname from my actual online nickname. But with this channel, with my name being Beta, that's the name that one of my friends in the Call of Duty community used to call me. He was from the UK and was very energetic, had a really nice and welcoming demeanor, but he had just no clue what my name meant at all. And so we would just be like, Beta, how are you doing, Beta? Why is your name Beta? That doesn't make any sense. You should be the Alpha. And it was just so funny. It was a weird weird, nonsensical way of calling me Beta. And that stuck with me, and so I kept the nickname. And here we are today with that being the name of this channel. I cannot remember what the dude's name was for the life of me who called me that, but I just want to say big thanks for keeping me motivated and keeping me pushing through making commentary videos. But yeah, that's the origin of Beta, the channel name for wh whatever this is going to be. Also, for those that want to know the sauce of the thumbnail, or the source of it, it's a YCH of Levi eating some Wendy's. He's happy he has his 4 for 4, which nowadays is not a 4 for 4. It's like a 6 for 4. Doesn't make me that much happy about inflation, let me just tell you. Not that kind, not, not that kind, just the, the economic. Yeah. But yeah, look at him. He's happy with his four for four. And that's an art piece that I really, really love because I love Wendy's. It's like my favorite fast food. But yeah, that about does it for this one. Sorry, this video was all over the place. I'm just having fun with it. But if you enjoy this, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'll do more commentaries like these in the future. And uh, we'll look back at this a few years from now, or maybe one year to see how much we've grown. But that about does it for me here. Hope you all have a wonderful night. And as always, stay life jacket. Take care.